Before you start this activity, take a moment to listen to my voice and think about gratitude. Gratitude means being thankful for the things in our life. Sometimes, when we're going through our days, we get caught in the stressful moments. When we return to gratitude, we feel better. Many experts say we should practice gratitude, but what does that mean? I'm going to guide you through a fun way to map out what you are grateful for so that you can have a reminder to look at whenever you need to return to the energy of gratitude. This is a growing creation. When you look at it and read it, you may find yourself thinking of even more things to add. This is just one example of a gratitude map. You can personalize this in whichever way that your creativity leads you. Please feel free to borrow any of my ideas. Okay, so this is the page called Gratitude Map. Now map is a very loose term. I'm just gonna show you the one that I made um, for myself. And it's actually, instead of maps, I'm just gonna move my camera out here. Instead of maps, it's actually trees. Um, which is kind of cool. Like it was just a picture of trees that I made and then I added words to it. But I really like the idea of a map. So really it's your choice what you want to do here. You could think of any number of creative ways to express gratitude and to map it out for yourself. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to do a gratitude map with you. If you're interested in the process of the gratitude tree mapping thing that I did, that I just showed you, there is a video for that and I talk through it. It's kind of a meditative video, a mindfulness. You can just sit and watch it and see what ideas pop into your head. Um, but for the gratitude map, um, this one I'm going to make like an actual street map, I think. So I'm going to use my pencil and I'm just gonna let my imagination take me somewhere. So if you think of a map of like a city or a town, the roads are all intersecting, which means they kind of join together. Now, I don't have a ruler it, that I'm using for this. If you are a person who likes very straight lines and wants their creations to look very structured, go for it, grab a, grab a ruler. So I'm drawing my roads. These are my roads of my town. I used to love this when I was younger. I'd, I'd create all sorts of towns and cities and use my imagination. Which way would this road wind? What would it be like to drive down these roads? Where would these roads lead? And then as I'm doing this art, I'm gonna think about the concept of gratitude. So the things that I'm thankful for. And then I could imagine going on a journey um, through this town. This is a town that I'm drawing. Um, and it's a town that represents my own gratitude. So, I mean, you don't have to draw a town. You could draw a country. You could draw all sorts of really cool things. All right. So I've drawn some streets. And I might think, okay, so this neighborhood is friendship. And I might write friendship. what else am I grateful for? Maybe I'm grateful for things in my life, like things on the earth, things that uh, help me live my life. So maybe I would go earth, the, the physical things in life that I'm thankful for, I'm grateful for. And I might think, oh, I think of one right away. Now, you don't, you could sit and think of all the friends if you wanted, or maybe you brainstorm or you kind of hop around. So I'm going to say earth. I could think of something right away. I'm thankful for the wind on a warm summer's day. What else am I thankful for? And this could be a street. So I could have a street up this way. That's the wind street. Okay. Oh, and the rain. The rain could be on that street. Maybe this is all the weather. I'm grateful for the weather because it would be pretty boring if it was always the same. So I think of some things that I'm grateful for in the weather. And then maybe my Earth Street takes a turn. And I'm grateful for my house. I might even draw. I could put some art in here. And this is my home. I am grateful for home. Okay. Maybe I am grateful for... Um, transportation. So I could draw a car. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I know this is kind of a cool car. There we go. So I could write transportation because I like to use full words. You could also just write car, but I'm going to say transportation because that's also um, planes and transport. Uh oh, I've run out of room. So now I'm just going to make it go all the way around transportation. It's very small and I'm not sure you could see it on the video, but that's okay. And then I would just go through and I would add all the things on the earth that I'm grateful for now. Right now I'm out of things in my head. I'm sure there's lots more there. Can't think of it. So I'm going to move on to another area. I am going to move on to this one is people. So I know I have friendship here, but there's people. So I could put names of people in my life that, that maybe this is people park. So in my gratitude village, there's people park. And then in this people park, I could put the names of people that are important to me. Um, so I could, or I'm just going to be general to make it easier for you to brainstorm, but you could put names of your family. More specifically, you could think siblings, brothers and sisters. I'm grateful for siblings. Um, oh, teachers. I'm a little biased, but I'm very, very grateful for teachers. And maybe teachers are their own street and you could put the name of some of your favorite teachers there. Family could be its own uh, street. Here's family street. And then you could put your siblings, grandparents. This can be free form. This The words can go any way you want them to go. Have fun with it. Be creative. There's no rule here. You're just creating a picture with words that tells the story of what you're grateful for, okay? So I'm just gonna continue working on this. You can see some of the things that I put in. Um, and then I'll show you how I decorate it. So remember, you don't need to get all your ideas down at once. In fact, I encourage you to come back to this over a couple days. You'll find that as you look at it and read it over again, more ideas will come. I also got a lot of ideas while I was coloring. I just used pencil crayons for this. And as I was coloring, ideas would come to me and I would add them either on top of my pencil crayon coloring or even on the spaces I hadn't colored yet. This is a really good way to show yourself what you're grateful for in a creative way and it's also a good way to get more ideas of things that you want to appreciate in your life. Because remember, the things we appreciate are the things that seem to grow in our world. If you want to take some time and send some happy thoughts to people as you're doing this, you'll find the world will feel a little bit lighter and a little bit happier the more you practice gratitude. So this is one form of a gratitude journal, just in a picture form. There's another tutorial on my YouTube channel if you want to check out the tree one. But use your imagination and do something that is fun for you. Maps always spark my imagination, so that's why I did a map. Thank you so much for creating gratitude with me. And remember, you can share your creations by tagging me on Instagram. Have a beautiful day.